Practicing hand and respiratory hygiene is important at all times and is the best way to protect others and yourself. When possible maintain at least a 1 meter 3 feet distance between yourself and others. This is especially important if you are standing by someone who is coughing or sneezing. Since some infected persons may not yet be exhibiting symptoms or their symptoms may be mild, maintaining a physical distance with everyone is a good idea if you are in an area where COVID-19 is circulating. If you have been in close contact with someone with COVID-19, you may be infected. Close contact means that you live with or have been in settings of less than 1 meter from those who have the disease. In these cases, it is best to stay at home. However, if you live in an area with malaria or dengue fever it is important that you do not ignore symptoms of fever. Seek medical help. When you attend the health facility wear a mask if possible, keep at least 1 meter distant from other people and do not touch surfaces with your hands. If it is a child who is sick help the child stick to this advice. If you do not live in an area with malaria or dengue fever please do the following. If you become ill, even with very mild symptoms you must self-isolate even if you don't think you have been exposed to COVID-19 but develop symptoms, then self-isolate and monitor yourself you are more likely to infect others in the early stages of the disease when you just have mild symptoms, therefore early self-isolation is very important. If you do not have symptoms, but have been exposed to an infected person, self-quarantine for 14 days. If you have definitely had COVID-19, confirmed by a test, self-isolate for 14 days even after symptoms have disappeared as a precautionary measure, it is not yet known exactly how long people remain infectious after they have recovered. Follow national advice on self-isolation.